What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Final Destination 6 in this video here today. We're going to be going over everything we know leading up to the filming dates, which I had confirmed by a source and the Directors Guild of Canada. We'll be talking about the premonition. We'll be talking about the kill that we know has been talked about by one of the producers and the characters. I will say that a lot of this is rumored allegedly until we of course have it shooting and get the trailers and stuff like that but there's a lot of evidence out there that backs it up so i'm also going to be speculating on tony todd because i think tony todd is actually a mystery character connected to the premonition that is the biggest factor of this story so here's the plot just as she's about to leave home for college 18 year old stephanie who's been having horrific nightmares about dying in a tower accident in the 1960s discovers that her dream is actually a premonition that happened to her grandmother esther who thwarted death 50 years ago but is now running out of time stephanie learns that through her grand or that though her grandmother thwarted death and death has been going after the would have been victims of that long ago catastrophe killing them off and then going after their children stephanie and her family realize that their bloodline isn't safe from death who will take them violently and gruesomely in order unless someone like stephanie figures out a way to stop so one major way this film is already shaking up the formula of this franchise is because stephanie is having a premonition about a tower collapse that should have occurred at this place called skyview in the 60s involving her grandmother who saved a bunch of people that never should have lived and they went on to have families traditionally we see premonitions of events that are about to happen not ones that should have happened with someone else reliving them so that's a nice twist we have a very flashback heavy film i'd imagine so here are the characters you have stephanie lewis she's described as being smart grounded ambitious stephanie is about to leave her working class hometown and head off for university she's closer to her younger brother charlie stephanie feels bad that charlie has been moody and angry at her lately probably because she's going to be leaving him just like their mom did when Stephanie learns the truth about the nightmares that have been plaguing her, she realizes that her grandmother Esther was telling them the truth about death coming for the relatives in their bloodline, and she decides to do everything in her power to keep her family safe. Then you have Charlie. Gangly, bright, he is Stephanie's younger brother. Normally very close to Stephanie, he's grown moody and angry at her as her departure for college draws near, hating the fact that she's going to be leaving him just like their mom did. When Stephanie discovers the bizarre truth about death coming for their family because their grandmother Esther thwarted it years ago, Charlie thinks the whole thing is nuts, but he has a huge respect for Stephanie. And as she studies the manual their grandmother gave her before she died, Charlie realizes that Stephanie understands what's going on and eventually he comes to believe it too. Then you have Bobby, who's described as being huge, good-hearted, and anxious. Bobby is high school, or he's a high school football linebacker and Julia and Derek's brother, Stephanie and Charlie's cousin. Sweet and vulnerable despite not being too bright, Bobby is the only one of the family who's immediately terrified by Stephanie's account of Grandma Esther's story that death is going to come after their family in birth order. A frightened Bobby is willing to try anything to thwart death. So then you have Derek, a walking collection of piercings, tattoos, and charm, or yes charm defined and a bit crude full of ego usually seen with a vape pen derek is bobby and julia's brother stephanie and charlie's cousin a tattoo and piercing artist derek absolutely does not believe cousin stephanie's story that their family is doomed to be chased by death and killed before their time and he's gleeful when he appears to prove her wrong by escaping what should have been a fatal situation so i will point out that we know craig perry has talked i've shared it on twitter Craig Perry shared we would be getting a tattoo kill in this film. So I'm assuming Derek has something to do with that, of course, and he will be the one narrowly escaping this tattoo parlor scene that might be very tense still, even though he escapes. Then you have Esther, who is the grandmother to Stephanie. We know that, again, she's the woman who is who survived that tower collapse all those years ago, and now death has worked its way back to her and her family. Then you have Julia. She's described as being bougie. She's a tomboy. Julia is Bobby and Derek's sister, making her Stephanie and Charlie's cousin. She doesn't like Stephanie. Uh, then you have Uncle Howard, who was Julia and Derek's father, making him Stephanie and Charlie's uncle. Esther sends a bunch of obituaries to this person during the film, apparently, and they are obituaries related to the Skyview survivors who are dying in the order they would have back in the 60s. So here, if you heard that important detail when I was going through the characters, they're dying in the order of their birth dates, allegedly, which is pretty cool. And I hope that sticks. But here are some of the confirmed bits. Filming will indeed take place this March until May 13th. Uh, March 4th until May 13th. 
We know that Guy Busick is writing with Laurie Evans-Taylor, I believe. Zach Lepofsky and Adam Stein are directing. The only known cast member we've had announced is Tony Todd, who's returning as William Blood Bloodworth. And it's been reported by Bloody Disgusting that this film will explore his character's origins, including a flashback to his childhood that reveals his connection to death. Now, see, it's that word flashback that makes me pretty confident of what role he plays and how his backstory could unfold, which, again, could be wrong because this is just a prediction. I haven't been told anything specific on what his actual role is. But the word flashback used in this Bloody Disgusting article convinces me of something about William's childhood. See, here's the thing with Esther's premonition. Allegedly, Esther's premonition includes a little boy who survived just like Esther thanks to Esther's actions when she saved everyone. So this little boy, I believe, is William. And I think that's what we're going to find out during Final Destination 6 is that he was one of the kids or a major little boy involved in the premonition that Stephanie is having related to her grandmother Esther and her efforts to save people back in the 60s from this Skyview Tower collapse. And this major little boy that's being highlighted, a mysterious little boy, is definitely probably going to end up being Tony Todd's William character. That's what I think. It could be some other little boy, but the fact that it's someone shrouded in mystery leads me to think, okay, we're going to be getting Tony Todd in this role. And that's how we're going to find out his origins and his backstory as Bloody Disgusting reported and his connection to death. He has to be this little boy. That's my best guess. But... Are you guys looking forward to Final Destination 6? Why or why not? Let me know down below. Also, what do you think about the characters possibly dying in the order they were born? What do you think about William Bloodworth possibly being a little boy who survived this tower collapse and is very familiar with Esther because Esther saved his life? Do you think that this would even ruin his character? Because I know people say, well, why dive into his backstory anyway? Just leave him mysterious. Depending on how it's done, that's not really too much of a big deal. And it's not really that shocking that this character survived some tragedy in the past that explains a lot honestly it explains a lot <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and i will say this Again, Tony Todd is the only confirmed cast member. There was a rumored cast member who still has yet to be confirmed. But until it's confirmed, Tony Todd, again, is the only confirmed star. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.